So, ladies and gentlemen, Madame, Monsieur, my Madame, Montaigne, Senores, and Senoras, here we are once again. It is, oh, where's the scoreboard? Here we go. It is the third game, Goody against Morrow. It is the quarterfinals of tonight's Compito Cup 27, and we just saw a first game on Tardarim Altar, and now it is time for IC Cup Test Buck. And. Icy Cup Test Bug uh, next to Tardarim Altar and um, Icy Cup Pornry are newly added maps to the map pool here of the Compito Cup and Test Bug is a really really nice entertaining map. I was able to cast a couple of games on this map already last week as I was casting the Epic Cup. And um, I will tell you a little bit about this map uh, pretty pretty soon but um, before that, we get, just introduced the players. We got Murrow here. Once again, it's the Green Zerg at the top left, or uh, you can call it the 11 o'clock position. And at the 3 o'clock, we got Goody as the purple Terran. So it is um, PVZ, uh, PVZ, TVZ. Once again, we saw some two interesting, really entertaining games. Murrow winning the first game, Goody winning the second game. So this is Test Spark. Um so we got, uh, this is a three player map, this is one spawning location, this is one spawning location and here in the bottom left we have a spawning location as well. So don't get confused by the uh, top left being all green like Lost Temple, the bottom left being all uh, Scrap Station-esque or Delta Quadrant-esque with all those um, metal everywhere and this um, map here on the right and this location here on the right looking all like Zelnaga, Kevin's and Shakira's Plateau. Uh, this is just uh, for style purposes, it doesn't mean anything. So we got a three player map, um, we got the natural expansion pretty close to your main, we got a right uh, open ramp, a right open entrance, so if you want to secure the natural you got only uh, one entrance to worry about, but this entrance is a quite big one. Um, we got this Zelnaga watchtowers here in the middle, but if you want to take those Zelnaga watchtowers, you actually have to clear out the destructible rocks. And beside from that, we have one central Zelnaga watchtower in the absolute central. And for example, if you're wondering what all those small rocks here, uh, this is n not just some um, gimmick. This is actually. Oh, uh, by the way, we got some um, SCVs moving out. Um, because if this Zelnaga Watchtower, if you occupy this, the vision of the Zelnaga Watchtower actually goes as far as those rocks are on the ground. But let's focus a little bit on what Goody is doing. He is going for some sort of all initiative attack. He's got eight SCVs, he's got uh, three Marines, he's got only one barracks though. And now he's attacking this uh, spine crawler. Will get taken out. And what will Morrow do? He will be running away from all those SCVs. And there are Zirklings and there are more drones to come. And now Morrow wants to go for the counter attack here. Going surround. And he will be able to get a nice surround here on the Marines. Good. He is running away uh, from those drones. He's got um, two Marines still alive. All the SCVs got taken out. And now this bunker is still in production. What is Morrow doing? He's producing eight more. Um, Zerklings, and uh, those Zerklings were able to kill none of the Marines, so all the Marines um, were able to get into the bunker, and now um, Goody is even calling down in the mule, but it's not for insulting purposes, he actually uh, wanted to repair this bunker right away, and um, Mauro was able in the last second to hold this attack off. I mean, he lost quite a lot of units there. Um, he will, um, Goody just wasted this mule, uh, this mule, and he's going for an attack once again, not only having three more SCVs, so Goody does not want to go for a macro game at all here on this map. Maybe he's just not too familiar with it. And let's take a look. Uh, how many units does Mauro still have? He's got 15 drones, he's got six Zirklings, but uh, on the other hand, Goody's got five Marines, so if he will be able to take out the spine crawler before they attack, um, before it get finished, he will be in a good position. But now the spine crawler is finished, and this game is pretty much over. I think we should see a GG here any second now. And there we go, Morrow just being able to hold this all in attack here of Goody off, taking game number three. It was a very, very fast game actually, and he is advancing to the semi finals. So after being too ecstatic about game one and game two, um. Unfortunately, we were not able to see a longer game on this map, but hopefully in the games to come, uh, we might see some other interesting games here as well, though. So, um, that's about it. 
more advancing to the semi-finals. I will take a one minute break and I try to get the next game up as soon as possible, so just stay tuned. And um, by the way, if you like what you see and giving us some nice feedback, if you don't like what you see, give me some feedback as well. If you just cannot stand my German accent, if you cannot stand me doing something worse, absolutely worse in terms of observing or analyzing game in general, just let me know. Uh, write some comments on Team Liquid. Um, if you like what you're seeing, just like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and all this um, other stuff is available. For example, my YouTube channel where I have all the VODs. Um, just check my website, andre.com, or if you're a more mature person, let's check a fuckyear.tv. This is my website as well. And um, I'm trying to get us in another game as soon as possible, as soon as I find something. Um, I will let you know. Meanwhile, feel free to enjoy my new waiting uh, screen. <laughs>